Oh, quell your emotions and focus on the fight. Let your desire for victory become your sword and shield. Battle, Battle formation! Xeno Factor! <laughs> what is that silly pose? Lab, we're being serious here. What the heck are you two doing anyway? Practicing hero poses? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Duh. We're trying to activate our Xeno factors. Prancing about isn't how you activate them. Your Xeno Factor will trigger based on your instinctual need to fight. Right! By controlling that instinct, we can transform into heroes at will. That's exactly it, Yui. Let's try it again. Battle, Battle formation! formation. Xeno, Xeno Factor! Factor! It sounds like there's no point in posing like that. Being in the right frame of mind is important, even if it looks silly. Don't call me silly! What? You guys can't do it? <gasps> Show us how it's done! I never thought about trying to activate my powers on demand. I guess being able to use our powers at will wouldn't be a bad thing, huh? What? Too hard for the spoiled midget to figure out on his own? Who are you calling a midget? Oh, hey, it worked. Looks like we're all getting used to having this kind of power. That's... sad. Practicing the use of Xenofactor. I'll never understand you humans. Hmm... Kanata. Hey, Yamatoga. Yes. Your immortality was triggered by your survival instincts, right? Correct. All living beings possess a similar instinct. Well, almost all. Hmm. I'm assuming you humans do not. Let's say there was a being that could consciously choose to die. Do you think that'd be enough to overcome its immortality? What? Uh, well, if such a being did exist, it might be possible. The idea sounded insane, but Yamatoga thought it could be possible. That meant the biggest obstacle keeping us from going home might have just been removed. We were doing well enough tracking down essence crystals. That, at least, we could manage on our own. The final hurdle was Amatsume's declaration that Yamatoga's souls could not be freed. 